YouTube. It is your favorite game here above Average Code. Here today to give you guys the best curb slide tutorial I could possibly put together here. Today we're going to go over a bunch of clips that I recorded here on Aquarius to really give you guys not only a better understanding of how to curb slide, but also how to do it and also what to expect from your curb slides or long slides, whatever you want to call them in terms of consistency and things like that. Now, first off, guys, if you don't even know what a curb slide, long slide, what have you is, it is when you slide off of a ledge or slide as you're going down the ledge to get a bigger speed boost across the map. This can help you with faster rotations, uh, get to fights faster to help your teammates, or even get to power weapons before your enemy. That is not curb sliding so that you can pick them up, obviously, before they do. Now, first off, guys, let us look at a curb slide in regular speed and then the same curb slide in slow motion. So you will see you drop off the ledge, you slide, and you go much, much further than you normally would. And now I'll show you what a couple normal slides. That's if you slide before the ledge, and then that is if you slide after you hit the ledge, guys. Now, this varies a lot in timing. It varies on how far you can go with it. And realistically, it's going to come down to how much you practice it, how well you get it down. And even then, guys, you're probably only going to have about a 90% success rate. I want to get all of that out of the way. Uh, you'll even see the pros sometimes screw up these curb slides. So just because you nail a couple and you think you're getting it down, don't be discouraged if you do end up starting to miss a couple because it is never always going to be perfect. Now, we're going to go to this slow-mo clip, guys, and you'll see you're going to go into a sprint prior to the ledge this ledge is probably about i don't know two feet high off the ground so you're going to go into a sprint prior to going off the ledge and then as you fall off the ledge guys you are going to hold down your slide button whatever button you have for slide or crouch some people hold the crouch to slide if you're playing on controller it's going to be different on keyboard and mouse whatever your slide button is you are going to hold it right as you drop off the ledge probably right about here is where you're going to want to hold it guys right as you feel yourself drop off that ledge and you can feel it right as the elevation changes right about there is when you are going to hold that slide button and if you time it just perfect you will get what we call the curb slide and you will go much further as you can see you can even jump out of it to maximize the distance and then again we'll look at the bad ones that is where you slide before the ledge if you hit it too early and you're still on the ledge you have not yet dropped off your slide will look something like this you don't get a big speed boost at all you don't go very far really no advantage at all it's pretty much the same as dropping off the ledge and crouching and then if you slide too late your slide will look like that. Even if I jump, it would be the same as basically jumping off that ledge normally, guys. No speed boost whatsoever. And one thing worth mentioning, guys, is the higher the ledge, the harder it is to hit the curb slide. So I recommend starting on something maybe this height, like right here on Aquarius. Aquarius is a perfect place because there's so many different ledges and ramps to do curb slides on because it is even easier if you do it down a stair set or something like that. But we're going to get into that in a second here. So one more good slide here. Hold B right as you're dropping off the ledge. Right when you feel that little drop, guys, you want to hold down that slide button there. And obviously, the more you do it, the more you'll get a feel for it, guys. But once you hit that first one, you're going to just want, just want to keep trying it, trying it, trying it until you get it down perfect. Now, I'll pause it right here on this curb slide to show you right about there is where you want to hold B down. The moment you drop off the ledge, you hit it too early, it's going to look like the one I just showed you where you slide before the ledge. And then you get the speed boost. And that, again, is not the biggest speed boost you can get. The better you time it, the further and faster you will go. That just comes with practice. And I'll be honest, guys, it's a little bit of luck. Again, don't let anybody tell you they're curb sliding like 100% of the time. I, I don't doubt that there's some people out there that are better at it than even me. But it comes down to practice. And like I said, a little bit of luck. Like this one was even better than the ones I just showed you guys prior off the same exact ledge. And all I did was hit it at a little bit of an angle. The angle doesn't necessarily matter on a flat ledge like that. Again, it just comes down to luck. And better timing that was probably the furthest one i did there and now this ledge a little bit higher here and i'll show you what it'll look like generally when you try to slide off of the higher ledge 
you'll kind of just come to a dead slide like that, and that does happen quite a lot. Uh, again, you'll even see the pros hit that sometimes, but then they're just going to keep running and go with it. Um, it's not the end of the world if you're not curb sliding, guys, but it is a nice mechanic to have. It's flashy, and like I said, sometimes it can be the difference in you sliding across and grabbing that camo or failing the slide or just walking to the camo and getting killed because there's two, three, four people looking at you from the other team here. Now, this one, similar heighted ledge, but a little bit higher, and you'll notice the speed boost from the higher ledge can be a little bit more rewarding. Now, this is right outside the base here, and you can see how much faster you can slide all the way down there towards Heat Wave. This is a perfect place to be doing this because it can get you Heat Wave very, very fast off the rip of an Aquarius game to get there before your teammates. So same thing, guys. Right as you drop off the ledge, you're just going to hold that slide button and you will go absolutely flying. This would take probably twice as long if you were to just walk over there, or even worse, walk up and aim over there. But the better you hit your curb slides, guys, you can go in confidently. You don't even have to think about it. Just run over, drop off, and send it right off that ledge to hold B and grab that heat wave faster. Now, this is what I was talking about. Now, instead of just running down the stairs or jumping into the stairs, you can jump over the stairs, land on them, and hold B, and you'll slide further. But that takes time, guys, and jumping isn't always recommended because you're a very predictable target especially if somebody is aiming at you if you instead go up these stairs and drop right off about here you can not only get the curb slide from dropping off the ledge but you also clip the stairs just perfect and you'll go just about as far now i'll show you here right off the corner there down into the stairs and again it's not a crazy sp speed boost like we just saw you'll notice variation in how fast and how far you do go but regardless, it is faster, and sometimes, it, depending on the situation, it is a little bit better than just walking across uh, to grab the weapon or get to the rotation or what have you. Now, this one, guys, much shorter ledge, probably half the size of the ledges that I was showing you in the prior clips. And that's because, like I said, practicing on the shorter ledges, for some reason, the timing just works a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to hit, probably because the window from the ledge to the ground is smaller. So basically, no matter where you hit the slide button, as long as it's as you're falling off the ledge, it's just easier to slide. Now, I'll show you what this one will look like guys again not quite as big of a speed boost but i promise you if you just slide into the ground off that same ledge you are not going to go nearly as far here but again right as you drop off the ledge right about there is where i am going to be holding the slide button and then you will just feel it how much further you go. Again, guys, you have to practice this. You're not just going to be able to watch this video, go in, and just curb slide every ledge. I want to give you guys an understanding of when to hold B and how it should look and feel each time to do these curb slides. And again, guys, even as somebody who practices it, I've learned it, I've gotten it down, I'm still probably only hitting it like 85 to 90% of the time. And even so, the variation in how far and how fast I go, it does change between slides, it changes between where you do them. And I'll be honest, guys, some ledges are just easier to hit them off of than other ones, and that's just the reality of the curb slide, guys. But that's pretty much everything I can say. Uh, if you guys are curious about how I do them, I actually have my bottom right paddle. So on my right ring finger, uh, that is my crouch and my slide button. So I literally hold that button down. So again, I'm sprinting. As I'm falling off the ledge, I'm going to hold that slide button. And then if you time it just right, guys, you should go sliding further and faster than you would if you were to just do the regular slide either before the ledge, which you're about to see right about here or if you slide after you hit the ground which would be too late then the slides will look like that but all right guys that's pretty much everything i could say on curb slides hopefully that gave you a better understanding of not only what to expect from your curb slides but also how to do them and realistically when to use them because again i would use them for rotations like you're a little behind your teammates you're trying to snag that power weapon first and everything of the sort guys um it's not always best to use it because sometimes you can curb slide yourself either a off the map we've all done it on live fire or b you can curb slide yourself into the open where an enemy just has the easiest gunfight of their life against you but alrighty guys i really do hope this video helped you out please subscribe to the channel uh we do a 
ton of Halo stuff, guys. We stream ranked five times a week. Uh, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to help you guys get better, so it's a lot of fun here on the channel. So hit that sub button, guys. Leave a like on the video. It does help out ever so, so much. Feel free to leave a comment. If you have any super top secret curb slide tips for the people watching this video, uh, I'll leave a heart on it so it jumps to the top so people can get help from you guys as well. And then finally, guys, Channel memberships, super thanks. If you'd like to support monetarily, uh, it does help out ever so much. But I understand it's around the holidays, guys. It's crunch time for all of us, so please do not feel like you have to. But other than that, guys, that does it for me. I, I really do hope this video helped you out. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.